state releasing a new COVID-19 dashboard today with the promise of greater transparency. It features a clearer look at the data surrounding nursing home deaths. But is it enough? News 12's Tama Ponton is in West Islip for us tonight. Tama, you spoke with those who've lost a loved one. That's right, Macy. We spoke with a woman who says her mother contracted COVID here at Our Lady of Consolation and later died. She says she wants to make sure that Governor Hochul knows that behind every number on the newly revamped site is a person whose death deserves to be accurately counted. The information is okay if we can understand it and decipher it and interpret it. Vivian Zayas, one of the founders of the group Voices for Seniors, says while she is glad to see this revamped version of the state's website tracking COVID-19, it's just a start. The information is still very vague, and until it's fixed, we still don't have clarity as to the numbers. According to Governor Hochul, the site is now easier to navigate and access information. On our first day, we released data that had been previously undisclosed relating to nursing home deaths, and we're going to continue providing all the information as we find it. The site breaks down the number of nursing home deaths by county and by the number of confirmed deaths, confirmed deaths of people outside of a nursing home, and presumed deaths. It also shows the name of each facility in the state, the county it's in, and the number of confirmed deaths. Zayas whose mother was in rehabilitation at Our Lady of Consolation when she caught COVID and later died, says the information is not specific enough. There's many families in our group whose parents were transferred home after contracting the virus at a nursing home and died at home subsequently. So we don't have any clarity as to if those people are counted. Zayas says she and other families are hoping Governor Hochul releases even more information that they hope will better reflect the true number of seniors they say who died after contracting COVID in nursing homes. We believe a lot of the seniors fell through the cracks because of the information and, and the way it was being reported. Well, Tama, the site really does go in depth here, but is it enough for these families looking for answers? Well, Macy Vivian Zaya says she and other members of her group actually met with Governor Hochul last week, and she said asked for two things, an apology from the state, which she says they got, and more transparency in the numbers of people who died from COVID, who died while contracting COVID in a nursing home. She says the new site is a first step, but there still is a ways to go. Rich?